In this session, we are discussing algorithm. What is an algorithm? What are the properties an algorithm should have? So, now to define algorithm, we can say that an algorithm is a finite set of instructions that if followed accomplishes a particular task. So, they are telling that it is a finite set of instructions. What about the instructions I shall be writing in algorithm? They may be in any syntax. The meaning of this term syntax means grammar. It can follow any type of grammar. It can, uh, it can be uh, different keywords can be used. So, it is not language specific. So, in plain English also we can write these instructions. So, an algorithm is a finite set of instructions that if followed accomplishes a particular task. In addition, all algorithms must satisfy following criteria. So, what are the criteria? First one input 0 or more quantities are externally supplied. That means, an algorithm can have 0 input, 1 input or more than 1 inputs. So, an algorithm can have 0 or more quantities are externally supplied. Output at least one quantity is produced. That means, an algorithm must produce at least one output. Definiteness each instruction is clear and unambiguous. That means, each and every instruction whatever have got used in our algorithm must be unambiguous, the meaning should be crystal clear. So, that is why it is called each instruction is clear and unambiguous. Finiteness, if we trace out instructions of an algorithm, then for all cases, algorithm terminates after a finite number of steps and algorithm cannot go forever. Obviously, after executing certain number of instructions, an algorithm will get terminated. So, that is known as the finiteness. That means, if we trace one algorithm, depending upon the logic flow, we can find that the algorithm is getting terminated after execution, after tracing of finite number of instructions. Effectiveness, every instruction must be very basic, so that it can be carried out in principle by a person using only paper and pencil. That means, each and every instruction must be very basic. That means, the purpose of those, those instructions must be very clear to us and that is why must be very basic, so that it can be carried out in principle by a person using only paper and pencil. So, that is why it is telling that each and every instruction must be effective in, uh, in its nature. So, input output, definiteness, finiteness, effectiveness. So, these are the five properties an algorithm should have. So, in this way we have defined what is an algorithm. Thanks for watching this video.